my god, what a day it's been for me so far. Out of control. I'll give you guys a, a small idea of, of what I've been going through today. It's been the most random friggin' day I think I've ever had in a long time. Let's get to back to my story, alright? Well, actually, first of all, Yellow Knife in the stream chat is saying that YouTube did an audit and it looks like I lost millions of views today. Uh, no. I didn't notice that. And, quite honestly, it makes zero sense because how do you take away views? It doesn't sound to me like YouTube did any kind of an audit. It sounds to me like YouTube doesn't know what they're doing as usual. Which I wouldn't be surprised. I certainly would not be surprised because if you, many of you may not know this, YouTube has not had correct views since November of last year. There was an entire week during the month of November of 2015 where views didn't even count. Like, some videos had views, some videos didn't. And YouTube's been saying ever since then that views are completely wrong. There's no way you can, like, even if they subtract views, it doesn't mean someone didn't watch your video. It just means that YouTube doesn't know how to count, which is not news to me. Being that I've been on YouTube since 2008, I could tell you firsthand YouTube doesn't know how to count. I know for a fact they don't. <laughs> it makes no sense. It literally makes no fucking sense, okay? Um, so, you know, who knows? Apparently everyone is saying that everyone lost a bajillion views overnight. I don't know. I haven't checked. I really don't give a shit. You know, it makes no sense at all. Uh, it doesn't matter because the thing is, uh, you know, you, you you've, it, it's it, the way that it works is you get paid off of new views, just so you know, or or off of ad revenue. Okay, it depends. Some people have view-based contracts. Some people have ad revenue-based contracts. Uh, if you get paid off of views, right, you get paid off of new views. So, for example, let me give you some perspective here. Back in what was it? Uh, September of. 2015, I had a massive dip in views on DSP Gaming because I had to delete some m multiple hundreds of videos for copyright bullshit, alright? And, uh, I, my channel showed as losing 3 million views, but I still made money that month, you know? Now, if you're on an ad revenue contract, uh, it doesn't matter at all. Your ad revenue is your ad revenue. It doesn't matter if YouTube subtracts views or not. The ad revenue you made was the ad revenue you made. So either way, it's not it's not an issue. It's just that people's view counts, I guess, went down or whatever overnight. That's just one of the random things that I'd like to bring up. So that's one of the random things that happened. That actually was like the least one on my mind. Um, so I wake up this morning, and there's a whole bunch of Twitter nonsense going on. I just want to warn any of you who do follow me on Twitter. Uh, probably for the next day or so, there's going to be a bunch of ridiculous, just silly, childish shit going on on Twitter that I don't want to be a part of. I, 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 as you know, I use Twitter for business-related purposes primarily. And every once in a while, I'll send out some kind of a personal tweet about something that's not business-related. Uh, but I've, certainly, I use Twitter way more for business, you know, telling you when my streams are live, telling you when videos are going live and in playlists, my daily schedule. That's far more important to me than any kind of silly shit on Twitter. Which, you know, tons of people use Twitter for just stupid shit. You know, just insane internet meme-style nonsense, and I'm not into that shit. You know? But, uh, I'll just warn you, forewarn you, if you are following me on Twitter... In the next day or so, there may be some complete ridiculous nonsense. There's still hundreds of people sending me stupid tweets that I'm ignoring. Because, uh, I have better things to do than sit here on Twitter and listen to, to garbage and just waste of time when I have, uh, work to do. You know what I mean? Alright. There's been a big discrepancy between YouTubers and YouTube ongoing since late last year. And it's been an ongoing thing. And, basically, in, in other words, a lot of YouTubers seem to be owed a lot of money. Meaning, it looks like YouTube fucked up, and didn't do things properly in the year of 2015. And because of that, a lot of YouTubers actually ended up being underpaid uh, near the end of the year. And it's been kind of an ongoing thing, is, you know, how much, you know, realistically, how did our businesses do? It's not just me, it's a bunch of YouTubers have been affected by this. And you probably haven't heard much about it, because, you know, we don't like to talk too much about behind-the-scenes financial shit, unless it directly affects the viewer. But this is just part of the randomness that happened today, so I just want to give you some perspective here, alright? So, for, for months, a lot of YouTubers have kind of been like, we don't know what's going to happen, you know, what happened with YouTube at the end of the year, it seems like YouTube screwed up. YouTube has had absolutely no answers for anyone. We've been waiting over two months for answers, got no answers. They just keep saying they're working on it, they're working on it, they're going to fix it, okay? So the bottom line is, it looks like a lot of people got shafted at the end of 2015, uh, who do YouTube full-time, who get make their money based off of YouTube performance and stuff like that. All of a sudden this morning, I get this... Payment from Machinima that makes absolutely no sense. I don't know if this is money money that I was owed from last year from the screw-up of, of YouTube. I don't know if this is something completely different. I don't even know what this is. And I'm staring at it like, what is this? You know? And it's kind of like, when you get something like that, you feel so like, you know... It feels like, I don't know what this is. 
Is this a gift? Is this a screw up? Is this, is this something I'm owed? Is this something that I, I, I don't even know what this is? I'm just so like flabbergasted. And by the way, no, it's not like Machinima said, oh, here's a million dollars. No, that's not what happened, you know? Um, but I was just like, well, I don't understand this. And so I'm, like, I'm scratching my head. I'm like, what is this This money? I get random money. Is this money that I, I have to spend? Is this a fuck up that I shouldn't spend? I certainly could, you know, use it to pay bills. I don't know what this is. Very confused. I'm <laughs> very, very confused. So I sent them a message this morning, you know, not knowing exactly what the heck was going on. So that was just one random thing that happened, right? And uh, as this is happening, I get an email. This is just how much random shit happened. I get an email from uh, someone who says, Phil, I pledged to your Patreon for January, uh, and uh, I need to know if it, if, it, if it went through. I'm very confused. And I said, well, that's bizarre. It's, it's the 12th. You would think that if someone pledged to my Patreon in the month of January that that would have been, you know, charged or, or, or processed the first few days of the month. So I said, you know, give me your info, give me your, give me your email and all that. So I get all the info, I go, I go and I check on Patreon. Lo and behold, Patreon pledge, or uh, processed their pledge today. Now, this person now is owed perks. So now I'm like, well, I already went through everyone, and, you know, and, and got all the perks and stuff, uh, you know, divvied out earlier last week, but I will do my best to try to get you your perks. I have no clue why Patreon would have just done this so late. It makes no sense, and now I'm kind of nervous. Because if this was just one guy, how many other people could this possibly happen to? As I, as I told me, uh, you guys publicly a couple weeks ago, Patreon this month, well last month, there were 30 people who were declined. That's the most ever. So you tell me maybe this was a screw up by Patreon and now they're going to start uh, processing people super late? I have no idea. I'm so confused. So all this is happening, right? All this random shit is happening. Then I sit down. And I'm like, all right, well, I better start setting up my stream here because, you know, I want to get Firewatch going. My laptop pops up. My laptop pops up and says, you need to do a mandatory Windows update. Now, let me tell you guys something. I disabled the mandatory Windows update on my laptop when I bought it three years ago. I've since tried to re-enable disabling the mandatory Windows update two other times. It doesn't work. I don't know what happened with this laptop. It just updates whenever it wants. There's some days I'll be, like, working, and I'll get a fucking pop-up. You must restart now. Like, what? I didn't even get a notice telling me that I had to restart this thing. I, mandatory update. Must restart now. Huh? And then sometimes, days ahead of time, I'll get a message that'll say, In three days, you need to restart in, in this mandatory Windows update. I told it not to do updates. I don't want updates. It keeps doing them anyway. <laughs> so now, oh, okay, let me fumble around. So I'm restarting my laptop, and I'm getting the stream set up. And as I'm doing that, I come back to my laptop, and it's at a black screen. So now I'm like, uh, okay, it's a black screen. Now what do I do? Do I unplug it? If I unplug it, it probably won't turn off because it has a battery inside. If I manually hold the power button, uh, will it, will it, you know, brick the laptop? Because if I brick the laptop, you know, it, it, I need the laptop. <laughs> I use, I do the laptop for tons of stuff. You know, I use it to, to monitor the stream. I use it for stream chat. Uh, I use it for various things, obviously, when I'm not home. This is a very important piece of equipment for my business. If this laptop fries or bricks, I'm screwed. I don't have any money to go buy a new laptop. So now I'm like, what do I do? It's, not, it's just hanging at this black screen. Uh, so I took the chance, I took the, I took the plunge, as they say, and I held down the power button, and the laptop went into, of all things, standby mode. It didn't restart or turn off, it went to standby mode. I pressed it again, and it kind of turned on, but not really. So I mashed all the buttons, <laughs> and then the screen turned on, and it said, oh, now completing Windows Update. I was like, oh my god. So you're telling me if I didn't hold down the power button, which you're not supposed to do during a Windows Update, the update would have never completed. Oh, I'm face palming right now. You probably can't hear it. Here, hold on. Did you hear the audible face palm? <laughs> I'm just like, what is happening? It's so bizarre. Oh, yeah, another thing. I randomly forgot. We were sitting downstairs, Leanna and I, uh, for a few minutes this morning having a coffee. Uh, right before I came up to get, to get ready for work. And we're sitting there, and I'm like, something feels like we forgot something this week. I was like, didn't we buy lotto tickets earlier this week? And she's like, No. And I was like, no, I swear we didn't. She's like, no, we didn't. That was a few weeks ago. And I'm like, no, I swear we bought lotto tickets this week. So we went to the kitchen and we opened her purse. We did buy lotto tickets this week and we're like three days late to check the results. We're like, holy shit. So we checked the tickets and ladies and gentlemen, I am a millionaire. No, I'm not. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I'm not a millionaire. And no, I would never, I would never be that lucky. Trust me. But it was funny because when this hat we checked, of course we didn't win. Who wins the lotto, right? Certainly not that lucky of a person. But, but. Here's the funny part. Um, we check it, right? And I'm like, 
here's what would happen. Today's such a random day for me, right? If this, if we had won the lotto, what would have happened was I would have won the lotto, and immediately the second like, we won the lotto, we're we're set for life. We're millionaires. We don't ever have to worry about financial problems again. Or like, holy shit. And then we look out, and immediately the saucers would land, the aliens would come down and just enslave the human race. <laughs> that would be my luck. <clears throat> that would be my freaking luck. Someone just said, well, Phil wouldn't be streaming if he did win the, the lotto. Yes, I would. I would actually, if, I'll tell you right now, I'm not even kidding you. If I had won the lotto, right? If I had won the lottery, and I was a millionaire, I would still be streaming right now. Because the bottom line is this, I, I am the same person, at least... Even though I've matured and grown over the years that I've done YouTube, I still, I pride myself that I haven't completely changed. You know, a lot of people, oh, I got popular on YouTube, so now I'm a completely different person, I'm an upper class snooty person. No, I'm the same dude, and the bottom line is, I love gaming. Like, what I do for my work is what I would be doing for fun on a daily basis. Now, would I do it the same way? Would I do it as much? Would I do it as often? Maybe not. But I would still be here, you know, playing games, streaming, sharing those experiences with you. No life, I won the lotto. Uh, right now, I'd still be live streaming. That's that's the kind of person I am. Uh, but anyway, I digress. No, I didn't win the lotto. But what a random day. And that's just a few things. There's also actually a few other things, too, that happened. Um, but I'm just saying, what a weird day it's been. What a wacky day. Uh, and, uh, you know, now we're going to play Firewatch. So hopefully it goes well. All right. All right. So, I'm excited for this coming week. I hope you're excited, too. Multiple reviews coming up. Reaction vlog coming up. Uh, you know, new games, so much stuff coming up, and I hope that you're ex excited for all of it as I am. Regardless of the randomness happening in my life right now, I'm having a lot of fun, and I hope that you are having fun too. If you're watching this live stream, if you're watching my videos on demand on YouTube, and you are enjoying the experience, and you want to see this continue to happen full-time, you want to see me continue to be able to do this as a business, there's several different ways that you can uh, help out. First of all, in the description of every video, in the description of this, uh, this stream, you can see an Amazon Associates link. You can check out my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. And last but not least, uh, my girlfriend Leanna has a business called The Black Current. She sells handmade glycerin soaps. 